Hey Zips fans, Chad Walker here with the Zips Digital Network update from Skeels Field. Baseball defeats Mercyhurst 12-1 here on this Sunday afternoon. John Creel and Coach Sabo had some comments after the game. I thought it was a good game. I thought it was well played all around. I thought we had a lot of good hitting, a lot of good defense. You know, Noak caught a great game behind the plate. You know, it was fun to go out there, compete against a good team. So I was happy that we were able to do it and the weather was pretty good today. So pretty good all around. Yeah, I mean, um, had pretty good feel for my slider today. Didn't really have that last week. I feel like that was definitely the separator. Um, pitch calling was great. You know, Coach Faye knew what to go to when we needed good pitches and what, what we needed when we were in a jam. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, you know, just that, some timely defense, a couple of huge double plays, you know, great plays from the defense helped me, you know, stay in it and uh, stay energized for six innings. It was huge. It was huge. Um, we played a couple of really good teams. Uh, Mercyhurst is a great team. They go to the D2 World Series almost every year. Um, a lot of good players on that team, so it was glad we were glad that we were able to go get a good team before conference play and get us ready for the max season that's coming up. It was good. It was good to see a couple guys get some hits uh, that were struggling a little bit. Uh, I thought that was good. Uh, I thought they ran out, at least those first couple guys, I thought were pretty good. So it was good to see uh, some pitchers are going to be very similar to what we're going to face in the MAC next weekend. Uh, and I thought our pitching was pretty good. You know, I like to see the walks, you know, come down a little bit. Uh, but when they threw strikes, they were tough to hit. So uh, that was encouraging. So hopefully uh, uh, next weekend we can we can put all this uh, these first six games. Uh, hopefully that that'll help us going into the MAC against Eastern next weekend. Like you know, unfortunately we had a lot of our series canceled because of the COVID uh, with Division One team. So we were scrambling to get. Uh, other teams, so we're, we're fortunate. Teams like Mercyhurst and uh, the Wittenbergs of the world and Grand Valley were, were able to play us, so we can at least get some experience before uh, we, we we begin MAC play. But uh, these six games are invaluable. Uh, you know, you can practice all you want and inter squad, uh, but nothing uh, compares an actual real game facing uh, an opposition you don't know anything about. So uh, it's valuable. We'll have a good week of practice. Hopefully the, the weather will be good next weekend. We can play a uh, uh, good four games. Yeah, I mean, it's good. As long as their involvement's uh, encouraging us. I, I, I'm not into bench jockeying with the other team or anything like that. Uh, uh, so uh, we, we, we addressed that at the end of the game. So uh, I, I love when you're encouraging your own team. I, I don't like uh, when you're yelling at the other team. I mean, leave the other team alone. Take care of your own business. Thanks, Coach. The baseball team will be back in action this Friday as they take on Eastern Michigan in their Mid-American Conference opener. You can stay up to date with all of Akron baseball and all of our athletic teams here at the University of Akron by heading to GoZips.com. Follow them on their social media accounts as well, ZipsBB. For Chad Welker, have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Have a great week, and as always, Go Zips!